Well, could we just... What's happening in Aleppo is a modern-day Guernica. We haven't heard the leader of the Labour Party speak out enough to demand UK airdrops to besiege civilians who are dying in their thousands. Hundreds of thousands of lives are at risk. We expect the leader of the Labour Party to speak out and demand a vote in Parliament on UK airdrops. We will leave in a minute. We will leave in a minute. Okay, I think we, we'll, we'll make up. We'll, we'll go and okay. sit back. Thank you very much. Sit back. Yeah. Why do you want to be not better? We wish it was. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you very much. Um, thank you for raising the issue. Just to be absolutely clear in response to the point that Peter made, Emily Thornbury, on our behalf, during Foreign Office questions and on many other occasions, has made it absolutely clear that we do think there should be aid given to people in Aleppo, we do think the bombing should end, we do think there should be a ceasefire, we do think there should be a political solution, we do think the war should end in Syria. Solution. And the we cannot go on forever having a war in Syria. Any more than we can go on having a war in Yemen or anywhere else within the region with which I'm sure you would completely agree with me. You and I trod the streets of Bermondsey together 35 years ago in the cause of human rights and justice at that time. We still tread the same path. <laughs> 